Would you look at it? Just look at it. Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger. Also known as The Last Ranger. I got a very short unboxing for you. I know what's in this box. Hence I got my bench harvester out to do the unboxing. This is the finch harvester. And before you ask questions, I I bronze the hardware. I bronze the pivot, the screws, on and, and, uh, and the barrel spacers. Uh, so, anyway, I can never leave a knife alone when I get it. So. <laughs> I don't care if it's a original like some people do. Anyway, let's uh, see what's in here. This came, comes from the Apex Pass Around group. Yeah. And this is a new knife for me. I this is a, I probably won't buy this knife because it's probably I, I know it's out of my price range, but yeah, I just wanted to check it out. So this is the new Fitch pa packaging. I haven't bought a, a Finch knife uh, with this new packaging. I All my Finch knives, I have about seven or eight Finch knives. They're all in the, the original packaging. So this is the Finch Buffalo Tooth. And a Coca Bolo 154 CM. And for the price of this, I would expect um, better steel. I believe this is $195. Um, I'm sorry if that's the wrong price, but I think it's $195. This is the most expensive Finch knife to date, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong. So it comes with a cool sticker. Oh, I wonder who designs their stickers. Anyway, comes with the usual flip in the finch, a band aid. They should like do uh, finch band aids. So they've been passing out band aids. They're big enough now. They could probably do their own band aids with their logo on it. And this is the finch warranty. And <laughs> this is a buffalo tooth, and I really like the but I like how it looks, but I don't know if I'm um, able to like fork over like a 195 for this. If it that cost, I mean, like if it costs 170, I, I probably wouldn't. I would probably pass on it. But I like how it looks. I like the wood. And I like it's a great looking knife. It has the bolster design, um, like this uh, harvester, which I like. I like the bolster design. Uh, this is the, this is probably the last, I don't know if this is the last uh, Finch I bought. I don't remember. I don't remember when the Devil's Finger came out. It's either this or the Devil's Finger is the last Finch I bought when they were released. So... But I haven't been buying um, too many finches. I, I, I don't want to say I'm over finch, but I'm kind of over them. I used to buy every finch, but um, it, it got too expensive. And I, I want to have other knives. So I took a break from finch. So this is... The finch buffalo tooth and this is probably the first finch that i would would have considered buying to get back into the finch again like the harvester for me was their best design so this is a really i, th I think this is a, a wonderful looking design i'm much more into the wood um of finch um uh, i think they have a kind of a like a I don't know what it's called it's made and it's made into a scale I don't I, I'll put it down there in the screen if I 
I thinking about it later <laughs> but I, I like their wood on this version I don't know what other versions they've came out with maybe maybe some Encarta but I, I like the wood this is a fits the hand and I, I love this blade yeah you know, I, I may consider picking it up um, sometime down the road I don't know but it's kind of pains me to not pick it up because I, I, I like how it looks uh, it reminds me of an elephant toe that I have that was gifted to me yeah I love it but right now there's so many knives that coming out and I, I just uh, hate I I hate to spend money um, on finches right now because I I'm there's a lot of uh, you know the Ohio River Jack that came out it, it was less than this less price than this and it was a better steel and it was all made of titanium and it had jigged titanium so I'm glad I I pass on this um, to buy that but if it hangs around I'll probably pick it up eventually so yeah I'm gonna I'll do a review and some of comparisons um, down the road some with some other finches but it's really nice it's nice flipper seems like a nice flipper yeah it's I'm not I'm really I don't know if I'll push button it and then I'll try to flip it just the regular yeah it flips either way so the detent is really good and uh, I didn't put much effort into it it's it, it flows out of there nicely it has a nice sound to it I don't know if you're picking it up I'll I'll try to close screw it closer to the microphone yeah it has a great sound to it great looking knife let's see if it's lanyard friendly let's see how the blade closes in there yeah it's lanyard friendly so you could put a uh, lanyard on that post I don't remember if the yeah this is lanyard friendly too but I don't want to cover up that uh, nice uh, bronze post on the harvester so anyway I've, I've added a lanyard to only one of Finch's knives the the Doc Holiday knife it seemed to scream add me add me a lanyard anyway this is a pretty nice knife I like how the clips different from any of their clips um, in the past I don't believe they did a clip like this yeah oh man I should have said that I, I, I really like this knife <laughs> yeah maybe I'll 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 see about like selling some something to get this I don't know yeah I would I would love to the bronze the hardware on this the pivot and stuff I don't I think this is if it's not titanium all right yeah I can't tell yeah okay this is not bad I think I think this this body is actually titanium so that's really cool Maybe I'm wrong, but that that body's it feels like tight or it I I don't think I'm reaching any metal. I think there's the body might possibly be titanium and that might be worth the price of the knife. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I just wish the I like 154 cm, but I wish uh the steel was a little bit better. So a little bit more premium yep I'm gonna let you guys go and uh, thanks for uh, checking out my unboxing and I'm gonna do a, a review of this 
um, upcoming probably over the weekend or early next week. Take care, Wastelanders.